Welcome everyone. Today, we're going to walk you through two fantastic ways to turn your phone into a wireless camera. We will explore one method using the inviting guests feature and another by presenting your cell phone's lens through NDI source on your device. It's worth noting that the former method is applicable to device types with the invite guests feature, that is ultra, pro, and mini. The latter method is only applicable to ultra, and each Ultra device supports three NDI sources. So let's dive in and learn how to leverage your phone in new exciting ways. All right, let's dive into the Invite Guests feature in Yolo Box. First, click on the icon in the lower right corner that looks like two overlapping portraits. Then, you can invite guests into your live room by sending the live room link to the email address of the person you want to invite. It's as simple as that. The recipients of the email can click the link to enter the live room on their computer, or they can perform the same operation on their mobile phone to achieve the same audio-visual effect. In other words, when you enter the live room through this link on your phone, it means that your phone's camera has taken a seat in the row of the video source area in the lower left corner. Now I am demonstrating with Yolobox Ultra, and as you can see, there is no annoying delay between the mobile phone's camera and the display on the device. And most importantly, you can see the footage captured by my phone's camera on the device. Yolobox Ultra has added the option of NDI source in the video source menu, which means Ultra can now act as an NDI receiver. In layman's terms, we can project the phone's camera onto the device's main screen through NDI. Completing the Use My Phone as a wireless camera only requires two steps. Before explaining the operation, I must remind you to ensure that your phone and Ultra are connected to the same network, whether it's Wi-Fi or Ethernet. You can see in my demo that my Ultra and phone are connected to the same network. Also, just a heads up, if you connect the Yolobox Ultra to a cellular 4G LTE SIM card network while the NDI source is on Wi-Fi or Ethernet, you might not be able to use the NDI feature. By the way, the free version of NDI gives you a five-minute trial period. After that, you'll need to make a purchase for unlimited use. If you want to activate the full version, just give us a shout at contactyololive.com. Of course, even if you don't watch this video, these key tips will appear on your must-pass way to use the NDI source feature. We can see that when I choose the NDI option, the system will pop up these messages to remind me in time. All right, now let's move on to the operational explanation part. Sure, first of all, we need to turn your cell phone into an NDI device, so we need to download the NDI HX camera app which is the app with a blue and black stripe background and white text. After accessing the Google homepage, we need to search for and enter Google Play. On this platform, we need to spend $17.999 to purchase this app. Upon successful download, we tap to launch the app. Let's take a brief look at the functions of the NDI HX camera. On the interface, if you long press the clock icon in the bottom right corner, a new profile will pop up and you can select a suitable aspect ratio. By clicking the icon on the left side right next to the clock icon, you can switch between the front and rear cameras. The microphone and lightning icons are all too familiar to us, with their functions being muting and turning on off the flashlight respectively. Of course, by moving the sliders in the two value slots on the left, you can adjust the screen size and brightness. Lastly, the NDI button in the center is the button to turn on NDI. When this button turns blue, it means that your phone has opened the NDI transmission channel. So our first step is to adjust all the values and then click the NDI button. Returning to the main operating page of the Ultra device, we need to open the NDI interface of the device. Click Add Video Source in the lower left corner. Find and click on NDI in the Video Sources menu. After the system has loaded, we can see that the new page displays the information of the NDI source output end. The phone I am operating corresponds to the Galaxy S20 FE 5G shown here. Now we select it and click Done. 
Now you can see the view captured by my phone camera on my ultra main screen. We can see that there is no overly obvious delay between the two screens. And I can adjust the NDI source audio in the audio mixer area of ultra. Oops, why isn't there a separate control area displayed here? This is because I forgot to turn off the mute setting in the NDI HX camera app. All right, let's turn on the microphone sound. Now we can see the audio adjustment area that is exclusive to this video source in the audio mixer area. Since we've talked about NDI input, let's also discuss NDI output. Compared to program out and USB-C out, NDI out can transmit NDI source from ultra to other NDI receivers without the need for a physical wire connecting the two devices. As long as you ensure that ultra and the NDI receiver are connected to the same network, you can find the NDI source sent from ultra on the NDI receiver by simply sliding to enable NDI out. If you're interested in our products and enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos. Also, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. This is Frank, and I will see you in the next video.